today I'm going to show you how to back up an MTK scatter file. I'm going to download the a software called WWR MTK. Depending on the version, the version I'm going to use is a 2.5.2.51. Open that. I'm going to attach the software. At the end of the lecture, I open this that has logo. Please, uh, can open it as run as admin in case the system is being used by other users. Say the program blah blah error. Tap OK. Then wait a little, it's going to open. This particular software discover it was better when you're using Windows 10. This is Windows 8. So it's offline mode viewing advertisement one at 20 seconds. So if you donate to the website, you're not going to see this. But as I'm using a free one that is i've not donated to the website that's why i'm seeing this so please bring the information and know what to do in order to encourage the programmer it's good to donate to this particular website because it's made things easier i'm going to show you how to back up MTK scatter file of any MTK Android phone. You can do that and start selling it on the one you are going to use a flash phone. So most of the time, if you back up a good drum, it can help you on your work. But as well, if you get a, an official drum, that's fine. Take a cup of tea. Wait why our WWR MTK 2.51 finish your 120 seconds before it open. Good, the software has opened. Well, the next thing we're going to do, we're going to click on our thumb mode. If you see the tabs on top, make sure you have read the information of your phone and know the particular MTK chip that it has. So let's arrange it to a clip on auto mode. Tap on generating empty scatter file. Select the platform type CPU. Select your own CPU type. Then the memory type is the uh, always EMC. Then create and save a scatter file. So it's going to create scatter file. Check the folder where you have saved it. I'm going to see it there. Then we'll open our flash tool. Since we know where we we'll save our scatter file, we'll open flash tool. This particular phone need the DF file, the direct agent file. I'll so we'll click on option. Then on check, check LIB DF match. And close that. Then load my DF file again. The error will disappear. Good. The error has disappeared.
and i'll load the scatter file now the scatter file i just created with wwrmtk check the location is our mtk backup i open the scatter file then click on read back then add we're going to add the same scatter file make sure it's that one then double click on it that scatter file then let's create our em mc boot one mc underscore boot one we'll save it in the same place we save our scatter file so that everything will be uniform We are going to save it here. Let's click on save. Good. This is where a technical work comes in. For the simple, we are going to open our scatter file. With notepad. Remember this. Locate our scatter file. This is our scatter file. We we'll open it with notepad. Then check, first of all, the physical start address and the linear start address is the same thing. We'll copy that. Then go back to our SP2. Click on that. This is where you are going to paste it. Delete this. So the start address is always 0x0. As you can see it here, it's 0x0. Then we'll copy the partition size come back to our length we'll delete everything here and put our partition size and click OK then now prepare your phone because we are going to connect it when we click uh, read back click on read back then connect your phone Good. We have just read EMMC boot one. We can close that. Create another partition. Copy GPT. Click save. Now here we're going to do the same thing we did initially. Then select user, the MC user here instead of EMC but one go to our scatter file Open it with Notepad. I must mix it so you see everything. I always copy partition size at the length because don't need to copy this. But let me just do it for clarity's sake and paste it here as the start address and go back there. 
copy partition size with the partition size that is the length we have our read back will stop You know, paste this here as well. Click OK. Click read back. Then reconnect our phone. The same thing we did for the, f the first time. But the phone has connected as red to read back okay.